up, my little pretties? It's your mistress of Shaolin is here, and today we are going to review a zombie movie. Now, note that I'm, before I get started that uh, this is well, I'm this is kind of like a mix between a horror and a comedy movie. So, if you guys are interested in zombies and that, this is probably the movie for you. If you're not interested in zombies or anything like this movie, then I recommend that you not watch this movie but anyways if you guys are asking yes this is a zombie movie I will be reviewing note that I will be redoing Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island review in the near future I don't know when exactly but I will try to make that happen as soon as I can first of all I would like to say that this movie came out in 2004 and this is actually one of my favorite zombie movies well besides Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island being a good one, and Zombieland, which I will be reviewing Zombieland in the near future when I'm going to go see Zombieland 2, even though that's already on DVD. But before I see Zombieland 2, I will be reviewing the first one. Anyways, with that being said, I'm going to begin with this movie. Today we're going to review is Shaun of the Dead. Now, just to warn you guys right now, for those who have not seen Shaun of the Dead... I will be spoiling pretty much everything about this movie, so if you don't want to watch uh, me spoiling it, I highly recommend you click off one of this, this video right now and go watch one of my videos if you like. Alright, with that being said, let's begin. Shaun of the Dead is basically about a man named Shaun who is played by Simon Pegg in this movie, which by the way, Simon Pegg is a really awesome actor and I honestly found he, him to be very funny. And we also have Nick Frost, who plays Ed in this movie, which he's funny, too. So basically, Sean and and Nick live with their parent, live with Pete. I think that's their dad or something, or roommate. But they live with Pete in their house. And basically, Ed does not have a job, and Sean is struggling to make as much money as he can. Now, Mother's Day is coming up, and he has to do something for his mom, even though he's didn't get really along with his dad too much, but but he did, but he really wanted to do something for his mom. Now, however, things took a turn for the worse when Sean gets home, and he tries to arrange like a dinner date with Liz, but unfortunately, that didn't work out at the restaurant he called. So basically, he tries to gets her to go to the Winchester, but she says, oh, I'm going with my friends Diana and Diane and, and David. So basically she goes, you know, it's a free wheel, third wheel or something, whatever. So she dumps Sean and Sean ends up coming home having a bad day. And the next day Sean realizes that the world has changed. Everything is quite quiet and stuff, and they realize she, he he realizes that everyone is not themselves. However, when he gets home and he's about to do some stuff, Ed uh, tells Sean that there's a guard, there's a there's a girl in the garden. So they go out, and they realize that she's a zombie. So, with that said, they had to they have to kill the zombie, which of course they first they try to call nine one one, but that didn't work. So. The two end up, there There was two zombies outside, so the two end up deciding that they will kill the zombies. Which, of course, they successfully, successfully do that when they read the news on what's going on. And one of them being, they have to either remove the head of the victim or destroy the brain. So, Sean, Sean and Ed decide to make a plan where they would grab, they would go to Barbara's house or Sean's mom's house and pick up his mom. Go grab Liz, well, his girlfriend, and then, or ex, whatever you guys prefer to say, and go to the Winchester and wait for the whole thing to blow over. So, they basically take Pete's car, but only to realize that Pete is now a zombie when Sean goes up to the bathroom. So, when they go upstairs, so when they go in Pete's car, they go to Barbara's house, and Philip unfortunately gets bitten when they're out of the house but of course they go to Sean's um they go to Sean's ex-girlfriend's place which of course Sean finds a way in Liz's apartment and Liz asks what's happened and Sean explains what's going on so 
Liz agrees to go with Sean to the Winchester along with Diane and David. So when they go with the group, they all decided they drove around until Philip dies. As, as Philip dies, he becomes a zombie and everyone gets out of the vehicle and they end up going through the gardens of people's houses to try to find the Winchester. However, Sean's mom did get attacked by a zombie, but you don't see her get bit or anything like that. Like, you do see the bite mark revealed later on in the movie. You just don't see it. You don't see her get bit because the camera cuts to Sean going over the fence to find his mom. So, he fights off a zombie and Sean and his friends realizes that the whole Winchester is flooded with zombies. And the only way to get there is to pretend to be zombies. Which, of course, they do that. But, however, when they get to the Winchester, they've been spotted by zombies when Ed and Sean have an argument over... Ed, Ed being on the phone when he's supposed to be doing a mission. So basically, David smashes a window, which was a dumb idea. So Sean and his friends go in there while, meanwhile, Sean, Sean's friends go in there while Sean goes to distract the zombies. So after a while, Sean returns and says he gives them the, the zombies a slip. So everything goes normal and all that jazz, nothing bad happens until when Sean realizes that he has to go check the breakers to get them working. He gets the breakers working, but he's realizing that the zombies might be following him. So he actually explains to them, to the group about it. But however, Ed causes too much noise and that's when the, and that's when the group had to take another level, which was to guard the place. So the gun that was not real, Sean... Tells Ed that it's not real, but of course, of course, the gun fires and Ed knew that it was real. So, basically, they they were going to be ready for the broken window that the stuff they barricade with. They're going to be ready to shoot those zombies that are in the near that window. However, uh, Liz, Sean's girlfriend, discovers that. Barbara, Sean's mom, got bit by a zombie and her bike mark was hidden, hidden throughout the whole time, but it was not shown. So with that said, that's when things got really weird. So basically, Sean realizes that his mom was dies and then she comes back to life as a zombie, which they end up putting her out of her misery. Now, this is when things got triggering. Basically... David gets eaten by zombies and Diane lets the zombies in by opening the Winchester window and goes after David. But however, we don't see her going through all the dangers and all that. So there was no way to tell if she's even alive or not. However, Ed gets bit by a zombie while he was trying to, you know, help Sean and Liz escape. So basically they go to the basement and David ended up knowing, um... Nick says to Sean and Liz that they have to escape and leave him to die. So they do that, and as they're escaping, the military comes and wipes out the whole area with the zombies, and Yvonne, who is Sean's best buddy, ends up inviting Liz and Sean to, to safety. And I think this is at least a month or so, or a year or so, and Sean's living with his girlfriend, Liz, in the in a in the house where he was with, well, he was with Pete and and um, Ed. So basically, Sean goes into the shed to play video games and realizes that Ed is a zombie, but of course he chained him up so he couldn't bit fight Sean. So basically, what did I think about this movie? Well, that kind of wrap that wraps up for Shaun of the Dead. Now, this movie was honestly a really good movie. I honestly thought this movie was really funny. Like, I honestly laughed so hard when I saw this movie for the first time. Now, if you look at the special features on Shaun of the Dead, you will see that there is some special features in it. And within that, you will see that there were deleted scenes. And I think there was, like, comic strips of, you know, what happened to Diane. So, basically, there was a part where Diane, you know, how Diane survived and what happened to her. There's one basically about... How Sean, you know, gave the zombies a slip and what happened to Nick before he was, well, not Nick, um, but what happened to Ed when he came, became a zombie and before and how he got back 
in the Sean shed. That's basically what the movie is about. Now, however, I love the movie. I honestly thought this movie was really, really good. Like, I'm going to be completely honest that I found this movie to be very funny. I honestly thought this movie was actually very funny. I like the concept itself to be really nice. It's a really good comedy zombie film. The fact that um, Simon Pegg and Nick Frost starred in it was amazing. Like, they saw, like, they were in Hot Fuzz together. That was another great movie that I will review eventually when I watch Hot Fuzz again, because that one was hilarious. And you obviously see them probably in other movies as well. But before I get started, you know, wrapping up the review, I kind of want to say right now that Simon Pegg voices uh, Buck the Weasel in in Ice Age Dawn of the Dinosaurs, but his character also returns in Ice Age Collusion Course, if you guys are wondering. Now, with that said, I actually really love the film. I honestly found it to be very good. It's enjoyable, and I highly recommend you guys to check this movie out if you haven't. It's funny. You will not be disappointed. If you're not a fan of zombies, this movie may not be for you. But, you know, the storyline of this movie was just amazing. I liked the acting. The gore was just amazing in this movie. The gore was pretty good. It was just like a George A. Romero film, is what I could say. Um, But with that said, that is basically what I do know about Shaun of the Dead. I honestly found this movie to be very good. Now, for those who haven't seen Shaun of the Dead, I highly recommend you go check it out if you haven't. Now, you can find clips of it, of the movie on YouTube for those who want to kind of check it out, what exactly the movie is about, just to give them an idea. The voice act, the acting was amazing. The actors did great. I honestly fe wish that this movie got a sequel, but even though it's been like 16 years and we still haven't got a sequel for this movie, which I really wished we did get a sequel to this movie. Because, you know, it would have been cool. You know, another way of a zombie outbreak or something. Hell, maybe there might be even a one in the future or something. Who even knows? But, you know, that's just my personal opinion on what I think about this movie. Now, I'm going to say right now that this is simply my own personal opinion. And if you disagree with me, that's fine too. We're all entitled to our own opinions in regards to this creepy pasta. Well, not it's not a creepy pasta. Oh my goodness me! We're all entitled to my own my own opinions on these movies. This is simply my own personal thoughts. My final rating in this movie is a ten out of ten. It's a great comedy, great horror. The gore is amazing. the The blood was cool. The comedy was awesome. The acting was great. The concept of the movie went well. The storyline of how the movie went out well was flowing nicely. And I obviously love the acting as well. The acting was great. Now anyways, with that being said, what did you guys think about this movie? Did you enjoy it? Did you not? Also, what would we have done personally to help make this movie a lot better? Leave me now where your thoughts are down in the comment section down below. I'm the Shadow Linus. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. And if you're brand new here to this channel, be sure you like, comment, subscribe because I make brand new videos every single day. Uh, don't forget to ring the notification bell so you'll get notified to when I upload. And with that said, I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.